If you're looking to tidy up your Gmail account, this is the video for you. I'm gonna show you super easy ways where you just click a couple of buttons and bang, you've deleted loads of emails. Really hope you like the video, and as always, if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it, and of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. So this first technique is super useful. If you've got a company that sends you lots of emails, I'm gonna take the example of TurboScribe, and I'm gonna click on it. And what I'm gonna do now is just simply right click and click find all emails from TurboScribe, and I click here. It brings up all the emails from TurboScribe. Now what I need to do is click on this button here. And now, interestingly enough, I have another button, select all conversations, because I've only got 50 here. But if I click on this button, it will select all of them. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete absolutely all of them. And that will bulk delete. Now, occasionally it doesn't work perfectly and you have to do it another time. Looks like that's been the case a little bit with me here. Let's just see what happens. I have to say, occasionally it doesn't work. So I'm just gonna do it again, select, select. But sometimes you have to give it a few seconds as well to do that, okay? So if it hasn't done it, click again, click on select all invocation, uh, all um, emails, and then click on delete. But, this is a really quick way of deleting and it's worked there after doing it twice, it's worked perfectly. Okay, hope that was super simple and super clear and if it was, please like the video. I'm now gonna show you a second technique using something called file name, this is really clever. One thing, if you do wanna learn about unsubscribing from your YouTube channel, if you've got multiple channels on your YouTube channel and you're looking for a quick way of deleting loads of your subscriptions, then I have done a video about that and I'll put that on the screen now. But we're now gonna look at this second technique with our Gmail account. Okay, this is another super quick way of working. Just go to the top in the search. So you've got your inbox open. I'm using Google Chrome. I'm gonna write file name. And then what you wanna do is, what you're gonna do is basically search for things that have got big file sizes. So like, for example, if I write P, PDF, and I might have some PDF files. I'm gonna press enter. It's gonna find all my PDF files. I'm gonna click on them, and then I can just delete those files. Okay, this is a really good way of kind of getting rid of the big files that you might have. Let's just to take that idea a little bit further, you can actually combine that. So watch this, I'm gonna write file name, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write JPG. Now the reason I'm doing that is lots of people's emails will often have images in them. Now what I can do is click on here, that selects the most, the first 50, but I actually wanna select all of them. So I'm gonna click on select all conversations, and now, I can click on delete and that's gonna delete absolutely all of the uh, emails where someone has sent me an email with a JPEG image in it. Now again, JPEGs are you know bigger pieces of data so they're worth deleting. They're gonna clean up your uh, email box very quickly. Okay, I've got one final super quick way of deleting really big files. So it's completely different to the first two ideas. Just one thing, lots of people have been asking me how I make my videos on my YouTube channel. I've actually started a new channel called Screencast Guru. And if you wanna learn more about setting up your own YouTube channel and making the videos, I'll put that on the screen now and you can access that video. I'll subscribe to the channel and learn about how I make my videos let's look now then at this third idea okay this next one is brilliant watch this you can write file size just write again in the search file size sorry wrong letter file size semicolon and then I'm going to write for example let's say five megabytes so where any basically any file bigger than five megabytes. Hopefully if I press enter, it's gonna give me a list of files that are bigger than five megabytes. I'm gonna select them all, and then I'm gonna delete them. And that instantly is gonna save me a lot of space because all of those files were bigger than five megabytes. Okay, really hope you like the video. And if you do, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's hundreds more videos on the website. There's a really popular section on teaching and using AI. I specialize in making videos to help language teachers use technology. If you wanna sign up to the newsletter, then that way you can keep up with all the latest videos, the free webinars that we run, the courses that we run, etc. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, 
there is a special 14 part free course that you'll be sent. You'll be sent a video about every three or four days that really just focuses on the most popular technologies on my YouTube channel that teachers have reacted to. And that really builds up into a really nice course and gives you a strong basis in using technology in language teaching. It's completely free and literally everything that I show you uh, is a free technology. If you'd like to have live training with me, then think about joining me on Patreon. On Patreon, for $6 a month, you get three free videos from me each month without any advertisements in them. But the important thing is those videos are connected to a monthly webinar that we have where we meet live. And we normally work with the technology that we focused on that month, or sometimes it's two technologies. And we do activities and really learn to use those technologies well, so that then you can try those out in class or online with your students. The other interesting thing about joining me on Patreon is that actually you get access to all of the backdated material. So there's over a year of videos and live training, this training is very practical with lots and lots of ideas about things that you can do in the class or online with your students teaching languages. So it's much more practical than the YouTube videos and you get that as part of the $6 a month. Okay, I'm gonna leave some more videos on the screen that I think you might find useful.